<laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, well, I, I'll talk a little bit about Alaska if, if you want. Uh, it's my favorite place away from home. Uh, I've been there more than 30 times. Wow. And um, yeah, I, I, I've been all over the state. Uh, my most recent visit was to the northern part. Uh, spent a little time in the Fairbanks, Denali area, but my real uh, uh, excitement for this trip was at, uh, visit to the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, way, 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 way up above the Arctic Circle, 24 hours of daylight, the sun never set. That was, that was amazing. I mean, it's hard to recover from yes. that. Yeah. But uh, um, I've, I've just wanted to, for the longest time, uh, go up to the ANWR, as they call it, the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, and see the porcupine caribou herd. Of course, ANWR is known for its... Um, uh, the controversy over oil drilling. There's a portion of it that's been reserved, uh, and you know there's uh, people on both sides. Uh, but anyways, I, I wanted to go see it for myself, and uh, I hit it on the head. Mm, we good for we you. saw. I, I don't think I've told you guys this. No, yet, no. We we saw um, probably at least a hundred thousand caribou. Wow. Uh, it was just incredible. We looked on the map. We could look in front of us and see. You know the mountains, and uh, we looked on the map and figured that there there was 15 miles of caribou Jeez. spread out in front Gosh. of us, and who knows how far they went beyond the mountains because you right. know, we we couldn't Can see. see yeah. yeah, so, so that, is this a migration for them right now? Yeah, yeah, this is their spring migration. Wow. Porcupine caribou herd. Uh, porcupine caribou never even heard of yeah. such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So that was that was nice. incredible. We saw a snowy owl as well. Oh, and really? We didn't see the nest. Not but in we, the winter. Huh? We don't know. No, this was this was up on its nesting ter territory. Wow. In fact, there I know there was a nest nearby. Uh, the bird was perched on its little hummocks. It is. As, as, right. You know, you always read about that, but I actually got to see it. Nice. And um, a golden eagle flew oh. by, and, and it took off to protect its territory. So it, yeah. it's you know chased off the, the golden eagle. Wow. So that's nice. that was that was cool. Nice. A lot of fun. Yeah, as you can see, we still get excited about <laughs> birds that we see. In fact, I get so excited, I've been uh, taping birds. I My video camera, and I tape them. So unlike these guys, I can go home at night and watch <laughs> birds again and again. And and it's just something I enjoy doing. And I have shared that with, with numerous uh, groups and clubs, the Kirtland Bird Club, Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, and a few other places. So not only do I enjoy... You know, watching them in the wild, I enjoy taping them, editing them, and re-watching them. Uh, if you can't sleep at night, put some birds on and enjoy that very much. If you ever have a chance to see one of his presentations, you ought to it. Birding with Bill without binoculars. Birding without binoculars with Bill. That's that's what my title is. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it's great. It's, it's not only got some great video in it, but it's got some good humor. Yeah, I know. So, fun. It's fun. It's a fun yeah, to do, absolutely. fun to make, fun to watch, fun to edit, yeah. Yeah. So in addition, just coming down in the in the field and, and looking at birds, I enjoy it at home too. And again, I think we all enjoy sharing with everybody. In fact, as soon as we're done here, we're going to go lead a bird walk, uh, the three of us, in, down in Rocky she's River. Gonna be, she's going to be coming along. Great. She's gonna, she's all right. Some of that as well. Oh, cool. She's cool. coming along for the ride. Good. Good. <laughs> You'll see how much fun we have then. Yeah. And, and, and how we enjoy it. <laughs> 